Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and you might be looking at me going, um, honey boo boo, I don't know if you know this, but like the camera just turned on and um, most of your makeup is in fact on your face. You would be correct. However, today's video is um, one that requires most of my makeup to be on my face because I wanted to come on for a second and talk about this bad boy. It is the new Tarte Big Blush Book number three. Um, I thought we would open it up, kind of swatch it together, and just talk about it. Is it a good deal? Is it good stuff? Let's, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have not stuck my fingers in it yet. I will say that mine arrived, my box right here, you see this? Do you see this Tarte? Do you see this? Yeah, it arrived busted. My box arrived busted. I'd just like to point that out not digging it. Um, so when I got it, it was kind of already in this scenario. So I have pulled it out uh, just to like make sure, you know, it wasn't busted all to hell. Um, so this is essentially what you get. And by the way, I just like to preface this by saying this is $60. So it is not a cheap item by any means. It is not um, a low end. It is nothing like that. It is $60. Um, and you're going to have a hard time with the lights for this one just because it's so reflective. Sorry about that. But as you can see, it's like got this beautiful kind of packaging to it. I really do enjoy the look of Tarte Cosmetics. I think that they put so much time, energy, and emphasis into such beautiful packaging. And I, I appreciate it so much. Now, with that being said, I do have an issue with this. The packaging on it looks stunning but I'm gonna give you the side profile and I don't know if it's gonna pick up or not but essentially if you can see right here these are like two pieces of foam with like a thicker kind of paper on the outside and I feel like these are like the epitome of what I would call cheap packaging um, and what I mean by that is there's nothing like it's bendable like if I wanted to I could bend this in half because it's just styrofoam and I have an issue with that personally because a it was very expensive um, I don't care about the shape the shape is fine I think that I love that it does this I think that that is super cool it's got like a little pivot right here that it pivots on I love that idea I just wish that they had put a little bit more money and a little more thought into the uh, travelability, the workability of this product. I think if it was more sturdy, it would be great for travel because it's slim, it's compact, and it definitely has a lot of, you know, options for you. Honestly, you could probably do damn near your full face. Someone as pale as me, I could bronze with this. I could do blush. I'd have my highlight. I could do an eye look. I mean, there are a ton of options in here um, as far as that goes. However, I would never travel with something like this because it. I'm afraid I would bust it and all the shit. Um, so that's my first issue. I wouldn't care if like the front and the back were hardened and maybe like it snapped into place, but this right here, this can just go in any direction it feels, you know, it, it's not, and it's not like a hard move or anything and it just kind of goes. So you can kind of see where I'm a little bit apprehensive already. Um, now Tarte blushes do retail by themselves for like, I think they're like 30 bucks a piece or something like that. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I do know that this being $60, um, the retail value of everything in here is like 260 or 230, something like that. It's a lot of money. Okay. Um, you get, I believe it's seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you get seven blushes and then one they call the universally flattering highlight right in the center. So I thought we would kind of take a little look, see at these. Um, here is, <laughs> let's take a look then. <laughs> So these are kind of, and don't get me wrong, they are beautiful shades too. I mean, I'm living for it. If you have, and they are full size pans too, by the way. They're not like travel size pans. They are legit. Um, now is the option to kind of, I mean, these pans, like all I do is barely move this and I could literally pop this pan out. So your option to kind of create your own Tarte Z palette, if you will, is always an option. You could always pop all these out, put them in a thing, and you would have gotten a great deal there too. Um, and I don't, I don't discredit that at all. But let's go ahead and let's maybe like swatch a couple of these and, you know, see what we got. And by a couple, I mean all. Tarte, oh wow, these are creamy. I have actually, I don't think I've ever used a Tarte um, blush before. Like, I feel like I've swatched them in store, but I don't think I've ever used them. Hmm. These are super creamy. Like, wow. And it looks like it does come with a variety of matte shades and shimmer shades. So if you kind of like a mixture... This is definitely a good option there. Okay, so here are the options, and I'm going to leave these in front of the camera, and I will roll down them from top to bottom. You have Lavish, Poised, Mindful, Peachy, 
rad, kindred, heated, and then this very bottom, you can kind of right there see it, it's that bottom shimmer shade. That is spirited and that is the highlight in the very center. So they are, there we go, that's a, that's a kind of a better swatch angle, but they are very beautiful. They're very creamy. Um, it says that they are a 12 hour lasting blush that they're supposed to hang out for a while on your face. Um, and just as a little disclaimer, I yet again today tried to work with my YSL foundation. Guys, it's not working for me. I can't make it work. I can't love this. Like, it's, if I know from on camera, I think it looks good. And I think after I set it and I add all my features, everything, you know, I think it looks good, but I just, oh, I can't. Like, it, I, there's something about the way it sits on my face, the way it gathers, like, in my pores that I'm just like, Ugh. so, anyways, let's go ahead and put this blush on. I'm just going to go in what I think, this is a Morphe, yeah, we're just going to go in with this Morphe brush right here. Um, what one do I want to wear? I kind of got... I'm kind of like living this top one right here in the shade Lavish. It's just beautiful. It's the very top swatch on my hand. And oh, it's like a peachy, almost brown undertone, but not too much. I love blush. Okay, so come on. Come on. Focus on page. Focus on the page. Right here is there's blush. My God. There's blush here. None here. Beautiful shade. Blends. Um, I mean, just like immediately blends right into the skin. That's never been, I don't think that's an issue with Tarte. I think that their blushes are pretty much iconic at this point. Um, everyone uses them. A lot of people swear by them. Okay, that was a little bit too much. So let's go ahead and blend that back out. As you guys know, I always am doing this. I'm always like, oh, just a little blush, please. It's kind of like me with chocolate sauce when I'm like, oh, I just, I'd like a little chocolate sauce. Next thing I know, oh, honey boo boo, all of it be up on my ice cream. Oh, I don't mess around. Just a little ice cream, just like one or two or... 35 scoops. Like, let's just not talk about it. That's so pretty. Like, I can't. It's so beautiful. Except for some reason, I keep, like, going in heavily handed. Okay, stop, Paige. Put the brushes down. I'm the worst person. Like, I, I have to, like, physically remove the brushes from my presence. Or I will just continue to blush bronze and highlight my face. All right, now we're going to go in with this tiny little fan brush from Sigma. It is their strobing fan, a number F42. We're going to go into this this little shade right here. We're just gonna go in, guys. Does that even show up? Like, where's the highlight? Is this like a subtle highlight? Because I don't do subtle highlights. You guys, I'm just gonna spray this Real Technique Techniques brush. Oh my god. I cannot speak. And now I'm gonna go in again because I need a more intense highlight than that. Like, I can't live with this light little glimmer. It's not my deal. Okay, so I built it up a lot. <laughs> And I think it looks beautiful if you build it up. Now, what I do appreciate about a highlight like this that you have to build is I appreciate the fact that it's something that you can wear if you like subtle highlights. Like, for example, my mom really enjoys a subtle highlight. She could wear something like this because it's something that when it goes on, it's not whoo bam, you know, like a lot of my other highlighters. Um, I appreciate it because I can also use it and it is very buildable to a beautiful finish or what I would consider a beautiful more in your face kind of highlight and what I love about it is that if you look at my face just straight on in camera right now look at how popping that cheekbone is compared to this one like you guys that is the difference that is the miracle of highlighter look at how raised and just bam this face like I can't that looks so beautiful and it's just that highlight like that's the only difference and it's so beautiful Oh, God, I'm obsessed with highlight. And that's not even just this highlight. Like, that's just highlight in general. Let's be real. Like, I love Tarte and everything, but come on. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play you. I have such an appreciation for cosmetics at all price points that I'm just like... I don't understand how there are channels out there that are like, oh, we only talk about high-end. I'm like, how? You miss all the good stuff. Do a little down the nose. <laughs> Girl, we gotta snatch that nose. Which, of course, was already contoured because, <laughs> honey, gotta have a contoured nose. Okay, you guys, kind of give you a close-up here. I think that that looks absolutely stunning. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, hold on one second. I'm going to go ahead, set my face, throw on uh, my mascara, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I finally got everything on my face, and when I tell you that took a long time, oh, child, my lashes just would not go on, and I ugh, I was going to do fake lashes, and after literally 20 minutes, I was like, you know what, I can't I can't live this life anymore. So, uh, real quick recap, uh, as you guys know, I went in and I tried to play around with the YSL today for foundation, no thank you. Um, I went in with, I don't have it in front of me, but it is the Ombre Bronzer from It Cosmetics for my bronzer. Um, as you know, we are talking about 
the Tarte Big Book Blush and Highlight, so that is obviously the blush and highlight on my face. For eyes, I just went in with the liner, all that good stuff, normal, and then I actually went in with my Beauty Bakery um, eyeshadow today to kind of, you know, play with that a little bit more and uh, get some use out of these, and uh, I'm kind of loving the look. So, everything's going good on that front. Yes, I love, I actually really like that palette. They, they blend really well together. Um, so, I wanted to stop back on here and give you guys my final thoughts on this. Um, I know we've talked a ton about the packaging and all of that. Um, I think that it is beautiful on the face. I think it applies wonderfully to the skin. That's not really so much um, an issue with Tarte. I think that the highlight for me personally is not my favorite. As you guys know, it's that one right in the center. It's uh, it's it's not the most blinding. It's also this one on my arm right here. Um, it's just not, which is amazing to me too because when you swatch it, you get like this beautiful sheen and then like on the finger but then the swatch is like so underwhelming that you just I can't deal so um, for me that's and that's a huge downside because I'm obsessed with highlight as you guys know if you've been watching me for longer than I don't know five minutes um, so I guess the real quick recap is is getting seven blushes and a highlight is it worth you know sixty dollars is this palette of blushes right here which oh never mind <laughs> that means it's on my shirt <laughs> I didn't think of that but is that is this palette of you know seven blushes and a highlight in this packaging is it worth sixty dollars I have to be honest for me personally I love love blush so I can definitely look at this and say oh like I could justify if you can really justify sixty dollars worth um, because honestly it is under what what it's like eight dollars a piece or something if you just count out the pans um, so the math on it is easy you know it's it's definitely worth it from a math perspective because these are the same price as a drugstore highlight or a, a blush and a highlight they're the, their drugstore pricing in this palette so let's actually where's my calculator I want to know exactly what that works out to be and it was free shipping too so there wasn't any shipping to include yeah 750 so I wasn't I was 50 cents off go me mental math but it, they are 750 a piece and so for 750 a piece you know you kind of can't be too mad at it um, as an overall especially if you're pasty like me you could use this brown shade right here or at least I probably could um, it's a nice warm tone yeah I could probably use that in a pinch to bronze if I needed to um, I feel like you know you could probably do your eyes with this palette if you were in a hurry you only had one thing with you so it is a little multifaceted I can't guarantee that I would leave it in this um, and I feel like part of what I like to think that I'm paying for when I pay for a product um, is the packaging you know if I pay 50 some dollars for this YSL for example um, I need to know that like this this is good this is heavy it's it feels like high quality um, now there are other times for example like these Jeffree Star highlights they are plastic I mean his pink ones in my opinion they look they look kind of cheap you know they're just plastic packaging but at least it's a good it's a heavier plastic packaging you know is it the most high-end no but they're also 20 some dollars so they're not drugstore you know I really like to feel like my packaging reflects what I'm getting and in these I feel like a they are creamy they are good quality product so I don't know why why you would like choose to represent them in this kind of a cheap way but I do love the innovative you know the way that it's styled the way that it is a component by itself I love this right here and actually as I was holding it I kind of got like the vibe of like painter vibe which I liked so I think for me I think personally this is a good deal um, $7.50 a piece yes it means you're putting out $60 at a whack but you're also getting honestly enough blushes if you're like a makeup artist um, or someone that does makeup on or for other people this would give you a great array for a ton of different skin tones which is huge I mean obviously if you're a makeup artist or someone that does makeup for other people or other people are in and out of your makeup stash definitely a way to kind of work with a ton of different skin tones undertones uh, pigmentations in general things that people prefer uh, so for me personally that's something I kind of look to not so much because I do other people's makeup but because I like to know what looks good on other people's skin tones so when I have friends that come around that are you know olive complected or they're darker they're lighter or they're whatever I like to kind of take these and I'll, I'll put different tones on different people to kind of see 
does this look good? Does it not look good? So that's just me personally, just because I like to be able to advise people based on, you know, their specific skin type or skin texture or color or undertone or whatnot. So for me personally, I can't say that this is a bad deal. I will say for 60 bucks, I'm not a fan of the component. I've said it a hundred times, uh, but at least at the end of the day, it is beautiful. I mean, that is so sharp, I think. I think it's just beautiful packaging, but when is it not with Tarte? Um, and overall, you guys, I just think it's a killer deal for $7.50 a piece. Um, again, this is the Big Book 3, and I think that they only released like one round of these, and I did get this from Tarte.com, or TarteCosmetics.com. They didn't have, um, this isn't something that's like sold at Ulta or whatever. I think this is like a Tarte-only item, So, but there is free shipping and all that good stuff. So, uh, and they also, if you get it, you don't like it, whatever, they also do offer um, free returns, I believe, free shipping and returns. So something to consider as well if you try it and you're like, hell no, not worth my 60 Gs. Gs, my 60 Gs, holy shit. I just, I just just multiplied this by infinity but if it's not worth my 60 bucks i can definitely send it back i will personally probably play with it and decide if it's worth my money or not um just because i'm one of those people i like to really work with something and i might really love it but at the end of the day i always say do i love it enough to justify this or you know if i had the choice would i buy it again or whatever that's kind of how i look at things so that's all there is to say about this little bad boy guys leave me a comment if you have any comments questions or anything like that don't forget to like and share and like love the video because we are cranking you guys oh my god i'm so excited i'm in love um oh and then on the lips by the way i forgot this i just realized it i used uh fuel it is a cream lipstick from um urban decay I forgot what they were called as i'm like looking at the package i feel i think this one might have been released with the heat collection i believe i did a video of the heat collection when they released the palette and then three lipsticks and two liners and so this is the cream shade the only one that wasn't uh, sparkly that was released and i love this lipstick goes on like a dream it's a little bit less opaque than i would like on the lips my lips kind of show through a little but i just love it for like a nice neutral look especially when my eyes are like purple and glammy and gorgeous so that is it, you guys. I hope you have a great day, night, weekend, whatever. And don't forget, comment, like, subscribe. All my social media handles are down below. And I will uh, talk to you guys all later. Bye.